In the year 1959, Fidel Castro and Ernesto Guevara overthrew a corrupt dictatorship in Cuba and established a communist country. The Americans were not happy with communists being so close to their border, and so they placed an embargo on Cuba. This stopped all trade between both countries. Cuba went to the USSR for help as they had lost their largest exporter, and Nikita Khrushchev agreed to buy their largest export, which was sugar. This angered the USA, and in 1961 they invaded Cuba, but it was a failure. The US was defeated at the Bay of Pigs due to poor organisation. This forced Cuba to look for more assistance, and Khrushchev sent them military equipment and advisers. John F. Kennedy, the US president at the time, was worried that the USSR was putting missiles in Cuba. He sent U-2 spy planes over Cuba and discovered that the USSR had set up intermediate range ballistic missiles that could hit the US in under three minutes. JFK was unsure as to how to proceed, so he met with his advisers, and on the 22nd of October 1962, he asked on live television for Khrushchev to remove the missiles, or he would place a naval blockade around Cuba. He announced a full-scale attack on Russia if missiles were fired, or if they tried to break through the blockade. He placed B-52 bombers armed with nuclear bombs over Cuba. Khrushchev sent military ships towards Cuba, and the world waited for another world war. Thankfully, he ordered the ships to stop on the 24th of October, and four days later a compromise was made. USSR agreed to remove the missiles if the US promised not to attack Cuba. The US also secretly agreed to remove missiles from Turkey on the border of the USSR to prevent further conflict. There were three results of these events. Although there was a very nearly a full-scale war, this led to improved cooperation between USSR and the USA in the future. They also created a hotline in the offices of both presidents to improve communication. It also led to the creation of the 1963 Test Ban Treaty, which banned the testing of nuclear weapons on land or at sea.